friends. Let me tell you something about these narcissistic people that act like, you feel me, a certain type of way. Chosen ones, like, here's the thing. You, they don't really care. They act like they, they act like they try to play it off like so casual, like, like they not doing the stuff they doing. Like, they try to play it off because you look strong. Chosen ones, when people see you in the flesh, they don't even realize why and how you still look so strong while they're trying to destroy you. Imagine that, Chosen Ones. You look strong and you look very well, handsome or beautiful or as a Chosen One, you you, you look very, very, you, you almost look better. You almost look more illuminated each time these people try to work these spells and these things against you. So when they see you in the flesh, Chosen Ones, you, won't, you will be surprised how many people are going to be enamored with the way you look. How many people are going to be enamored and uh, uh, also scared or pushed away or, or, you know, different things because everything people be putting you through be actually putting you on a pedestal in a sense. Everything people be doing to you to destroy you, you know, to set you back, chosen ones, it really be setting you up. And the crazy thing about it is they really, they really in secret competition. But see, when your secret competitors, when they see you chosen ones, what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to act all, all, all neutral with you. You know, they're going to try to act all like, you know, all good under pressure and stuff like that. They're going to try to act like they've been there before. And, you know, they're going to try to act like they like you and, you know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing changed. But deep down, they know that they know what they're doing and you know what they're doing you dig what i'm saying you know what they're doing which makes it worse you see between the lines chosen ones you see what they're doing and these people they 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 they're checking you out they're they're looking at you and they're they're saying a lot they're saying a whole lot how you doing They're doing a whole lot. They're doing a whole lot to stop the progression. Because your progression, let me talk, let me tell you something. Your progression, chosen ones. Look, you look better believing than you look coming. Let me tell you something. These these Decepticons, one thing they know is something that shines. That's one thing they know. And chosen ones, you look better going than coming to a lot of people. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't know who need to hear this video, but this is a very special video right here because chosen ones, it's many people who liter literally treated you some type of way. And unfortunately, they didn't get, there was no form of consequences. That's what it was. There was no consequences connected to how they was moving. You see what I'm saying? There was no consequences, chosen ones, and right now your success is what's really got them in their in their in their in their in their emotions. They see you and they say, "Wow, this person right here is shining." Somebody who we tried to crush is shining, and a part of them hate it, but a part another part of them is actually uh, uh, worshiping that. You dig what I'm saying? They're actually worshiping the imagery because you represent something of strength. You represent something of power, strength and power. You represent certain things and they couldn't do nothing with you. They couldn't destroy you. See what I'm saying? So like I said, when they see you, they know something's different about you. They know that there's something, something magical about you, chosen ones. My chosen vessels, there's something, there's something very different about you. You had a spiritual up, up, upgrade, upload, you upgraded. 
spiritually in the spiritual realm and they're trying to figure out what is it does does the chosen one have a new hairstyle is it the is that is it is it is something what 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 is it with the chosen one why do they why are they on this level and they don't even they don't even realize like i said in the last video all the all the demon demonology they pulled on you all the witchcraft all the stuff that they tried to do that was unfair at the time has a has a karm, karmetic uh reciprocant to it and that's why uh god has a plan for all of us to shine they might not like that part of it they like the way that they, they like you know we were cool chosen ones are cool individuals like a lot of people see you and they want to be just like you chosen one. And this has been happening before all of this, to be honest. This has been happening since y'all were y'all were kids. People see you and they just wanna they just think that you look cool. They think that there's something about you. So you know there's nothing new under the sun, chosen ones. But when they try to destroy you, it's like and they recognize the strength within you, then it gives you a story to connect with the image. So now their minds are warped because they're trying to figure out how are you doing what you're doing. They really trying to destroy you, chosen one. And they think it's a game, you know what I'm saying? People hear this term chosen ones, they think it's a game. They think that we're playing around with it. They think that it's something to be played with. But this is actually spiritual warfare. That's what looked different about you, your spirit. See what I'm saying? They're trying to, they're trying to ruin you on a soul level. There's people out here chosen ones want to ruin you, you want to ruin your soul. They hate your guts. So when they see you and you actually don't look like what they're trying to put you through, these people get uh, blown away. <sighs> they get blown away by that type of stuff. They get blown away by that type of stuff because you scare them so much that they're just trying to enjoy their day as a demon. But then when they see an angelic creature, you shine. You know, a lot of people, like I said, they think we gassed each other up or chosen ones try to be cocky or celebrate each other and stuff but it's not that we just know who we are in the spiritual realm we know what's going on and we got to continue to speak truth in life because that's all that we are we're not deaf those people that's why when they see us that's why I'm trying to warn the chosen ones that there's going to be people who tried to ruin you and that are still progressively trying to run game and ruin you. And they're gonna to try to play it coy when they see you. They're gonna to try to act like, they're gonna to try to act regular. And it's gonna be so funny because you're gonna be like, man, I can't do it. I can't, I can't link with this. I can't, I can't do it because I'm in a healing, I'm in a healing pro process and, and progress and it's progressing but every time, if I even take a, a millisecond to uh, link with certain people, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to be set like a year back every time I do it. Like it's going to be at least a year or two that you're going to be chosen one set back every time you decide to dwell and hang out with people who are not on the frequency because there's something about a demonic frequency that's a little bit deeper than a, a positive. Like, not really, but like, because if a, if a low person hang with a bunch of high vibrational creatures, it will automatically, uh, it will turn something on in them too. It will turn something on in them too. And, and But if you hang around a bunch of negatives, it will shut down your power and it'll bring you like a certain, it'll bring you back. It'll, it'll hold you back. It will not allow you to be who you need to and want to be. And so a lot of people, you will catch them, chosen ones, people who actually try to ruin you. They will throw out a fishing line that says, hey, 
pay me attention. I want some of that that you have on you, chosen ones, whatever it is. They think whatever shines is gold. So like, you know, narcissistically speaking, they want what you have. And so what you will notice, chosen ones, a lot of people never really liked you. They liked what they seen and what they felt around you. And they wanted to steal or they wanted to be like a, a greedy troll under a bridge and steal all the all of the gold. Because you're shining. So a lot of people, they don't really rock with you. And that's what it is. It's like reality check. You know what I'm saying? This is a chosen one reality check. Like there's people going to try to act like they like you. And it's, I ain't going to make it seem like it's crazy because it's not really crazy. You know, it's just you have to understand that you can't stand for that. You can't waste your time around these type of people because they're not around for a long time. They're around for a good time. You got to watch those type of people. This for my chosen ones out there. This is just strictly for the chosen ones. Because y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. It's people, family pretenders and frenemies and some new people you don't even know yet going to try to present themselves as if they're not what they are. They're going to try to present themselves as a Decepticon because in reality, these people really don't, they don't trust you. They don't like you. They're not feeling you. But yet, they're still going to, you got different types of, these same type of people I'm talking about. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's, I'm trying to tell y'all about a specific, but it's not really, it's a specific, but it's different ways of expression for this specific type of person. Like, these people as a pack are sent from Satan to throw you off before they ever actually like you. You see what I'm saying? They're sent to throw you off way before they ever actually like you or want to see you being, even if they see you and you are shining, it's still not good enough. It's still not good enough, chosen ones. These people, listen, chosen ones, unfortunately, we live in a world where it's a lot of things missing on the inside of people. People don't, they show you their best face. Just like me, I got on a nice outfit right now. I feel like it's decent, right? It's, it's not really all that. It's, it's cool. But it's, it's, a, it's a front. It's not my organs or anything like that. My organs are whatever they are and working at whatever percentage they're working at, but the clothes is nice. This is what they're doing to us. They're, they're returning that energy to us, chosen ones. They're saying the chosen ones typically are attractive people. They typically look nice. They shine. We know that they're not of Satan. We know these things about the chosen ones, but they're trying to pull our card. They're trying to say like, Okay, they look good and they are good and all this stuff, but like, are they actually untouchable? Because what's the point of being of God if we can still demonically abuse you or demonically uh, do this stuff to you, right? This is what I'm trying to say. So these people are actually, they're actually sent from Satan. Because they're assuming that we care about the exter exterior. They see us the way we dress. They see us the way we talk. They see us the way we walk. They see us the way we look, the way we shine. And because they're not on our team or on our side, they assume that we're uh, not deeper than that. You see what I'm saying? Deeper than the look, deeper than the attitude, deeper than these surface things. That they see because nine times out of ten, these Decepticons are materialistic. So they're going to test us on the non-materialistic aspects. 
They're going to say, oh, well, you know, and this is why I say you got to watch them because what they're trying to do is call, um, they're trying to um, pull you to be a phony or a fake. And a lot of people, they come to test the chosen ones to see if you're actually what? A man or a woman of your word. You talk the word of God, but are you standing on it? See what I'm saying? You 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 gotta understand where I'm coming from. Like you gotta build a reputation in under God and in God because any little metric away or inch away from God leaves you susceptible to these people because they're always looking vigorously. They're always they're always working against us. So you don't got time to dabble here and there. You have to stay consistent in the word. That's really what I'm trying to say. Cause you got people who are gonna try to they're gonna to try to stealthily stealth you know what stealthy is like stealthy meaning like it can hide in plain sight and you wouldn't see it. These people are stealthy, they're 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 able to snake you out of your position and it's crazy because you have to watch. You have to be careful, chosen ones. You have to be careful, chosen ones. Like, comment, subscribe, chosen ones. Be very careful. Listen to the words that I speak. Is no, it's no lie. There's going to be people, wolves in sheep's clothing. Trying to act like y'all on the same page. See you on the next video, man.